you might remember from geometry class having to find the number of diagonals and shapes. For simple shapes like squares and hexagons, drawing the diagonals is an easy way to answer this question. But as the number of sides increases, this method isn't practical. Thankfully, as with many things in math, there is a formula, namely n times n minus 3 over 2, where n is the number of sides. While it makes the problem straightforward, using a formula is probably the least intuitive approach for such a visual branch of math. In this video, I'll show a simple, intuitive proof that visually explains what's going on. To start off, let's just define a diagonal as a line that connects two points of a shape. Technically, the points need to be non-adjacent, but we'll deal with that in a bit. So, for a shape that has n sides, it also has n vertices, or points. To pick the diagonal's first point, we have n options. Then, to pick the second point, we have n minus 1 options, since one point has already been picked. Multiplying these together gives the total possible ways to pick two points. However, when drawing the line between two points, the order the points were picked in doesn't matter. So to prevent counting each diagonal twice, let's divide our formula by two. Now we're almost done. Currently, our formula counts the total number of lines that can be drawn between two points of a shape, which includes the number of diagonals and the number of sides. To make our formula accurate, we need to subtract n, which is the number of sides. Finally, doing some algebra shows us why the number of diagonals equals n times n minus 3 over 2. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.